What is up guys, it's Charlie here bringing you episode, I think it's 53, and we've done it, we found the code to get through this gate, thank god for that. Right, let's head up here, <laughs> oh, I thought I was never going to be able to do it, but we finally did it, thank god. Sorry for that kind of dramatic, this could be the end guys, at the, last, at the uh, end of the last episode. I knew I'd find it eventually, but I just thought I'd make it pretty dramatic, but anyway. Look who it is, look who it is, I'm pretty excited. Who's that down there? Oh my god, what Pokemon is that? I don't know, I've actually forgotten the name of it, I think it might be Kyurem or something like that. But yeah, purple jacket guy. Oh, here comes red. Bit late, mate, after I've just done basically all the work, trying to figure out all these codes, typing in loads of random Japanese letters and stuff, and... Oh, whatever. The code was actually 7707, so that's pretty cool. I don't know why it would be that, but you know, whatever. Anyway, he's got a Liopod and a Cryogonal. Even though he's got two Cryogonals, which is like, why would you have that, you idiot? But it doesn't really matter, we're gonna fire um, Flame Burst him, and yeah, that should do quite a bit. Nice, he's going for him as well. Oh, shit, he's actually taken him out, wow. Nice work, Superior. You got me lots of XP, thank you. Arcanine with the XP. Yes, go for his Pokemon. That's what I like to see. Go for a Flame Burst. Oh, almost taking it out there. And here comes another Cryogonal, which will go for another Flame Burst. Oh, wow, he didn't actually go for his Cryogonal there. Cryogonal is actually beast. I don't want it to get too many attacks off. I want to be able to take it out nice and quick. Alright, put up the light screen. I guess that's not too bad, but it might take two flame burst to kill it, but oh well. Wow! That did absolutely nothing. That's a Scolipede as well. Alright, pretty cool. We'll just go for another one, I guess. Hopefully that kills it, actually. Just proves how effective light screen is. Wow! That superior is really strong. It's getting me a lot of XP. Keep going, thank you. And keep going for his Pokemon as well. I haven't lost any HP yet. or oh, I've lost about 12 by the looks of it. How much is this going to do? Yeah, that's going to take it out. No chance. We've got a critical hit as well. I don't think that would have mattered though. And there we go, 2,000 more. Jesus. A Weavile. Alright, Weavile. I actually want to catch a Sneasel later on in the game. We don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know who it would replace my team, but it's just... Ah, Sneasel's so cool. Right, let's go for a Flame Burst on a Weevil. I don't like Weavile as much as Sneasel. That's going to do a ton of damage. Yep. Go for a Flame Burst. That means that Watchdog's going to go for a move on me, isn't it? Ah, uh, Slam. We should be able to take a Slam. Yeah, take that pretty well. Unfezant. Alright. What level is your Unfezant? 48. Alright. I am pretty underleveled, aren't I? <laughs> oh, well, I think that'll change as we go through Victory Road and stuff like that. Yeah, I love the way it's not going for me at all. It's great. Take out that Weavile. So we've just basically taken out all of his other uh, uh, Ice Guys Pokemon. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And Arcanine's now level 47, Beast. And, s wow, Watchdog's going to take out... Oh, Arcanine, well done, you lived that. Alright, let's go for a Fire Fang on Watchdog. How much is that going to do to you? Wow, quite a bit. Hyper Fang. Ah, oh, light screen finally wore off. And there we go, by Watchdog. Should be a good amount of XP for Arcanine. And we beat them, guys. So we beat the Plasma dudes. Thank you. Alright, Japanese dialogue. Very intense stuff. Oh, snap. Oh, it's a shame you guys can't see the cutscene on the lower level. It's showing the cutscene of the boat. Okay. Whoa, the boat just blew up. It's now on the top screen. We're flying. We are flying. Alright, this is pretty weird. Here comes the boat. Oh snap! We are, we is flying in the air. 
Wow. It's quite a lot of modifications you've done to that boat. I'm, I'm impressed. There we go. It's the end of the game. I'm joking. Let's go. Oh, Sharon, late as always. Yeah, because you're probably in the cave. Let's keep staying away because you're too scared. I know, Sharon, I'm a beast. I know. Don't tap your foot. You know I'm a better trainer than you. Whatevs, Sharon. Whatevs. Right, guys. We did it. Yay. Right, special item here. No. Oh, look at the little blob there. Uh, I don't know what we have to do now. I think we just go to Victory Road. I mean, let me get a look at my town map, actually. I'm going to have to go back through the cave because I don't have a flying Pokemon on me. Okay, it's just like some random routes over there. So, yeah, so we're going to have to go back to the 8th Gym Town. I always forget the name of it. Anyway, we're going to head through the cave. Shouldn't take too long, actually. We're just going to go this way. I hopefully have a Max Repel up. I actually forgot if I do or not. Red Shard. Yay! Poison Gem. Not a Red Shard, but oh well. Wow, well, I don't actually have a match for off, I don't think. Went pretty far without finding a Pokemon. Ooh, hello, Electric. My Arcanine says hello. Run away, though. Alright. My team is looking good. Right, let's put a match repel up. Uh, how much height? I've got two rare candies. Ooh. Anyway, match repel, where are you? I'm also going to try and find a way that I can trade uh, in this game so I can go get myself an Electivire. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to find that out soon. Just hit up here. And out of this door. And yeah, we're going to head back up to the um, Saigala City, I think it's called. That might be the Japanese name for it though, actually, so... Meh, I don't really know. Oh, wow, I'm a noob. Alright, let's go. Surfing is so nice and relaxing. So from that... There we go, okay. So we're here, we're back. Let's go heal up. Go grab a ton of max repels for the victory road. Right, yes, I would like to. Actually, I don't think we will be going to victory road just yet. We're going to have to head back to the ice town, aren't we? I forgot that. We're going to go get Skarmory out. Right, let's go, get, let's go grab Skarmory. I don't know who we're going to get rid of for Skarmory, though. Um... But there's my Cabalion, Verizion, and Terrakion. Cool, huh? Right, let's go grab my Skarmory. Um, who can go out just for now? Lucario. What level are you, actually? What level is Lucario? 47, yeah, you don't need you too much. You've got strength, actually, I don't know. We definitely need you for Victory Road, but I'm just going to use you to fly me to somewhere. I love this town. It's such a nice vibe. Right, let's fly. Actually, we could have just taken the underground path, passage place. But anyway, let's go to Opelucid City. Good old Skarmory. It'd be cool if they actually didn't like a thing showing Skarmory. I think I had to come here anyway. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Let's see if I can go through here now. Oh well, doesn't matter too much. Okay. Let's see if I can head through here now that we defeated Team Plasma. No, we still can't. Okay, well, that's kind of confused me then. I thought we'd have to come back to this part, but maybe we didn't even have to come back here, so that was pretty pointless. Um, maybe we should have just stayed and gone to Victory Road. 
but the way the boat flew away would have made me think that I had to go do something in the ice town. No? Well, I'm going to go figure out for sure, guys. I'm going to go be two minutes. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Well, it looks like I did outthink the box. And we don't actually have to come back here. We actually have to go to the... Dun, 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 where are you, giant chasm? There. So, let's fly back. I guess I just outthinked it. Outthought it, to be honest. Not outthinked. That's Sounded ridiculous. Right, let's take out Scum. Mori, I think. Okay. I don't need to heal up, no. I think I would like to keep Scum Mori with me, but I don't have anything uh, that I want to get rid of. So we're going to have to keep it, I guess. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of it. Cause I do want to keep Lucario nice and... I mean, hmm... I mean, I don't want to keep him in my team, but I say I want to keep him in for now in case I have to go flying places. But, you know, whatever. So we'll just go ahead to the giant chasm. Actually, I said we're going to stock up on match repels. Sorry, two minutes. Just grab these. Look at that woman by the um, poker desk thing. She's got, like, four eyes. What the hell? Uh, we'll stock up on that revives and shizzle as well. I've actually got quite a lot of revives. This is so slow. I don't know why. Hurry up. Buy loads of forest stores. How many forest stores can I actually buy? 56. Lol. Let's buy 18. Well, that was a lot. And finally, max potion. Max repel, sorry. There we go. 20 should be enough. Alright, there we go. Still got £101,000 left, so you know we're pretty, pretty rich. And guys, I'm going to head to the Giant Chasm in the next episode, so be sure to come back to see that, and I'll speak to you guys soon.